In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use FatX360, a FatX renaming app I made with Python. The app works on any operating system as long as you have the latest Python installed. All dependencies are built within the native Python libraries, so no additional installations or libraries are needed to get it up and running. Step 1. Go to GitHub and search for FatX360 or Midnight Roach Media. Step 2. You can either use the Git link in your terminal to download the repository, or head on over to the latest release tab on the right side as shown. Step 3. Click on the link to download the zip file for the latest release, version 1.3. Step 4. Extract the files to the director of your choice. Step 5. Open your command shell or terminal window and navigate to the directory where the Python script is. Step 6. Type in the command Python, and then the Python file name, fatx360.py. As you can see, the GUI will pop up. You can select the directory that contains the folder that has the subfolders and files with names you want to change. A list will appear in the box below where you can select the folders or files. You can select individually, select all, or deselect all. You have the options to select top folders only, subfolders only, with the option to also select subfolder depth, the option to select files only, or any combination. If you select none, then no files or folders will be renamed. You can now press the Rename Selected button and choose the directory where the renamed files or folders will be copied over to. None of your original files will be changed or moved. Instead, the copied and renamed files will be placed into a folder called Renamed. Now the files, nor and or folders, will begin to be processed. The progress bar lets you know how many items are being processed, as well as the operation's current progress. You have the option to cancel the operation as well. Once done, you can navigate to the folder Renamed and see the files or folders that had their names changed. As you can see, absolutely none of the original files were moved or affected. And that's it.